What is vibrometer? What is seismometer? What is an accelerometer? What is an tachometer? What are the seismic instruments? What are the non-seismic instruments? What are the uh, what are the instruments in order which are used to measure vibration? What are the vibration measuring instruments? What are the what is the principle of tachometers? Hello, guys. And all. Now, if you in our God have the same questions, guys, in which I was basically pronouncing to you, then in our you have come to the really in the right place. And this is the best ever decision you know which I made you know to come to this channel. And now, by the way, on this channel, guys, and I'm, I'll be sharing you some of the some of the techno scientific updates, guys, about the uh, about the advancements in the aerospace engineering and about the advancements in the world of engineering, guys. So basically, you know, this seems to be a techno scientific update, techno scientific updates channel, you know, where I basically am talk about the engineering world and about the medical science and about the so-called techno scientific. Uh, so-called techno scientific developments guys that were made so far guys you know, in science and technology guys especially you know in the fields of aerospace engineering and uh, which is why guys the essence of our today's topic guys you know, boils down to uh, the vibration measuring instruments guys number one we gotta study the in uh, st study the analytics of the vibrations guys and even the stuff even for the study of aeroelasticity guys now as I've already told you guys the vibration measuring instruments guys you know, happens to be an so-called categorization, guys, you know, which is basically, uh, which uh, which basically you know, has uh, already di diversified, uh, diversified subclassifications sub and sub assemblies, guys, you know, unread, guys, you know, which basically are really branching, guys, you know, when it comes about uh, multiple categorizations or rather multiple classifications or multiple sub assemblies or rather multiple uh, sort of. Uh, Classifieds, guys, you know, in which uh, this so-called topic is really grouped. So, guys, you know, we gotta deal with uh, the seismometers, the vibrometers, or rather the accelerometers, even the uh, instruments, you know, we're measuring the end, uh, me measuring the vibration, even the tachometers, and um, even the uh, wire principle on which, guys, you know, the vibrometers are uh, vibrometers are built. Now, guys, and as I've already told you, guys, the wire principle on which the vibrometer is built, guys, and it seems to be the resonance. But, guys, and resonance, and I'm gonna basically, you know, happens to be a state, guys, and I'm gonna where the uh, where the natural frequency, you know, is equivalent, guys, and I'm gonna do the excitation uh, to the excitation frequency. Now, guys, and I'm gonna when the frequency of excitation, guys, and I'm so called element, guys, and I'm gonna happens to fall in a state of equivalence, guys, and I'm gonna do the natural frequency of that same system, guys, and I'm gonna then that so called phenomenon, guys, and is known as resonance. Guys, and which for, for which falls in hand, guys, and with the phenomenon of beats. Now, guys, and the phenomenon of phenomenon of beats, guys, and is determined in such a manner, guys, that beats happen to be uh, beats happen to be uh, such elements, guys, and which basically uh, happen to happen to be two or more waves, guys, and all having uh, having the same uh, having the same or different frequency, and uh, rotating in a, uh, uh, passing in the same direction, guys. And that that phenomenon, guys, you know, is known as the phenomenon of beats. But guys, you know, which is why, guys, uh, that so-called phenomenon of resonance, guys, you know, is used, uh, used, and you know, uh, it is the thing, you know, on which uh, heavily, guys, you know, we rely, we rely on to, guys, you know, while studying uh, the instruments, guys, you know, which are capable enough, guys, you knowing to measure vibration, guys. But guys, you know, why we get to deal with this so-called topic, guys, of vibration measuring instruments, guys, you know, Vibration measuring instruments. Now, as I've already told you guys, and you know, there seems to be the seismometers, uh, the uh, vibrometer, the accelerometer, and even the tachometer. Guys, you know, the, now basically, you know, these are all the equipments or rather the instrument instruments, you know, which are basically reused, guys, you know, for the purpose of uh, measuring the vibration, guys. And you know what it clearly means is, guys, you know, the me measurement of vibration, guys, you know, seems to be. Uh, the, the, the 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 determining of that uh, determining of the frequency and the de determining of the amplitude and determining of the resonance guys of that so-called equipment guys so number which is basically you know, colloquially known guys as the study of vibrational analysis or rather the theory of aero aero elasticity guys so now in this so-called domain uh, in this so-called domain guys you know, we got uh, we got to learn a learn a lot guys about the seismometers and the vibrometers so uh, guys and you know, these were uh, basically you know the equipments guys and which basically are used guys you know, with the air uh, used in uh, you know used in the standardizations for the industry guys and you know, also just to measure the vibrations guys you know 
vibrations of a swing or rather vibrations of a resonating chamber or rather uh, uh, vibrations of a so-called uh, so-called um, element guys you know, which is basically you know, repeating itself guys you know, in periodic intervals of time guys you know which comes to the comes down to the very uh, very definition of the vibration so uh, guys you know, while we get a while we get a deal with the accelerometer, accelerometer and the vibrometer or the seismometer guys and even a tachometer now let us take into consideration guys the seismometer guys and you know, basically you know, happens to be happens to be the same thing you know which uh, happens to be the vibrometer or rather the vibrometer and the seismometer guys and you know, happen to be happen to have lots of principles guys and you know, which basically you know, go hand in hand or guys and you know, cross paths which eat or each other guys and while it comes about the operability or the operational characteristics guys of all these equipments and guys the tachometers guys and you know, therefore are so, are classified into two uh, two of the major categorizations guys and you know, such as the seismic tachometers and, and non seismic tachometers guys so uh, under which guys also there happen to be uh, classifications but guys there you know, two of the other classifications guys of the tachometers guys or rather the types of tachometers guys and you know, based on their very name you know but defining defining or rather classifying it guys and you know, seems to be the from tachometer and even the furogen tachometer. Now, guys, these are basically the two kinds of tachometers, you know, which we basically you know, use, guys, you know, which we basically use in the study of vibration, uh, study of vibrational analysis, guys, or rather in the aero aerospace elasticity theory. And guys, you know, which is why, guys, uh, these uh, these so-called tachometers, you know, which are basically you know, based on the principle of reeds. And guys, you know, there happen to be a um, great variability, guys, you know, when it comes about reads of one tachometer with the another tachometer. Like, guys, you know, some of the tachometers, guys, are based on a single read, but the other, uh, some of the other kinds of tachometers, guys, are even based on multiple reads. But, guys, you know, this seems to be the, the so called classification, guys, you know, which we got which we gotta learn about, guys, you know, while in fact, you know, studying about the tachometers. And you know, but while we in fact you know, learn more guys about the seismometers or rather the vibrometers or even the accelerometers guys you know the thing seems to be guys and vibrometer and even the accelerometer guys you know that basically you know, me measure the, the potential of acceleration guys and which is taking place in a so-called system guys you know and you know, which is basically potentially capable enough guys you know, to determine guys as to you know, what is uh, what is actually the frequency of that vibration, guys? So acceler accelerometer, guys, you know, as the name suggests very well, guys, you know, is known to measure the stages of acceleration, guys, you know, taking place, you know, in a so-called element or at an so-called eventuality. And the vibrometer, guys, you know, as I uh, as I've already told you, guys, you know, falls in hand, guys, you know, with the seismometer. Or rather, you know, you can even say, guys, the principle the principle of operation, guys, of the Seismometer, guys, and it happens to be same as vibrometer. So, guys, and this was uh, this was up for our today's video. Now, guys, and in case if uh, in case if you like this content, guys, about vibration theory and analytics, and even about seismometer and stuff, and even about the classifications of seismometer, guys, and you know, please do give thumbs up, guys. And in case if you have not liked this content before, or in case if you have not subscribed to our channel, guys, and then please do subscribe to our channel. And sign up for all these courses and sign up for all these lectures, guys. You know, and which you know, but I, I'm going to be uh, disclosing and uh, opting for uh, opting for uh, promulgation of this knowledge, guys. You know, in a free world and in a free society, guys. You know, and that is why that is what is my responsibility, you know, guys. You know, and, um, basically, you know, let me fulfill my responsibility, guys. You know, let you, uh, you guys, you know, fulfill yours, you know, by liking my content by sharing it and you know even by subscribing it guys subscribing to my channel and you know hitting that so-called bell icon guys you know in order to you know basically you know to get and receive more updates about it so guys remember that was that was about the vibrometers and about the seismometers and even the accelerometers and even about the tachometers and number which basically all come, comes into the classification of uh, the vibration measuring instruments guys and which are basically you know, used for the theory of uh, Aerospace era, uh, in the theory of aerospace elasticity, or rather in the vibrational analytics, guys, and which is basically performed in the domain such as the aerospace engineering. But guys, and this was uh, this was this was for today.
And guys, as I've, as I've already you know, told you, the tachometers, guys, are also, you know, briefly subdivided, guys, you know, based on their seismic orientation or rather than non-seismic orientation. So those were the updates, guys, and, you know, more updates soon. And, you know, please like my content and, you know, I mean, in case if you have not watched the old and all set, old and all series and stuff, guys, you know, then you'll find, definitely find a link in the description down below, guys, you know. And please watch our old and series, guys, about finite element analysis and even about the Patriotic, uh, pa patriotic cognizance address, even about uh, the so-called town planning, infrastructure development, geothermal engineering, vegetative propagation, even about gynecology. See you and have a really amazing day, guys. Bye.